Hello, my name is Guadalupe Firpo, and I am going to present you the work entitled Silica Nanoparticles, Exploring a Greener One-Pot Synthesis. There are three distinct strategies available for the synthesis of silica nanoparticles, biological, physical, and chemical. The former has been introduced as a novel methodology to synthesize nanoparticles easily and cheaply. In this sense, the silica nanoparticle synthesis using plant extracts, fungi, algae, and microbes has taken a lot of interest due to its numerous advantages, especially for biomedical applications. In contrast, physical techniques often require sophisticated and expensive equipment operating under harsh pressure and temperature conditions. In the case of chemical procedures, the Solhel method is the best known and most widely used. It consists of the hydrolysis and subsequent condensation of metal alkoxides, such as teos and timos, or inorganic salts like sodium metasilicate, in the presence of an acidic or basic catalyst. In this work, we provide a facile and eco-friendly one-pot Solhel method as promising alternative for the chemical synthesis of silica nanoparticles. Under optimized synthesis conditions, an aqueous sodium metasilicate solution at pH 7, adjusted by a drop by drop with acetic acid, was steered vigorously for four hours at room temperature. The gel was separated by vacuum filtration and washed with mealy water repeatedly. Finally, it was dried in an oven at 200 centigrade for five hours. Different characterization techniques were used for the analysis of the nanoparticles obtained. Results and discussion. Different variables, such as synthesis temperature, pH, drying temperature, and time, were previously explored until the optimal conditions were reached. To improve the yield and efficiency of the synthesis, the all materials were evaluated for their methylene blue adsorption capacity, as shown in Table 1. We found that an increase in the reaction temperature does not significantly improve the adsorption efficiency. A decrease in the drying time and an increase in the drying temperature are unfavorable changes since all materials produced exhibit a considerable drop in their adsorption capacity. A change in the catalyst used during synthesis, nitric acid, phosphoric acid, and acetic acid, led to a more adsorbent material improving efficiency by 10 to 20%. And a neutral pH of 7 was selected as the optimal pH considering that it is the most eco-friendly condition and the adsorption efficiency did not differ significantly from those obtained in their other entries. In summary, a simple and optimized synthesis protocol allowed the production of silica nanoparticles using an aqueous sodium metasilicate solution adjusted to pH 7 with acetic acid and stir it for four hours at room temperature and then feed it and dry it for five hours at 200 centigrade. The image below correspond to the characterization of the nanoparticles synthesized by X-ray diffraction, transmission electron microscopy, and adsorption desorption isotopes. Finally, an assessment of the greenness of the silica nanoparticle synthesis was performed by applying the principles of green chemistry together with the green star metric. For this analysis, it was necessary to examine the synthesis protocol, the substances involved in the reaction, and the wastes considering the identification of hazards for each of them. Our optimal synthesis process for silica nanoparticles was compared with the stopper procedure, since it is the classical method used to obtain this type of nanoparticles, 
and a representative synthetic root using rice husk as an alternative silicon source. Initially, it can be observed that both the Stober method and the one proposed here share the highest score in the P6 and pH principles because the synthesis were performed under mild conditions such as room temperature and ambient pressure and were carried out without a derivatization process. On the other hand, none of the synthesis method complies with the P3 and P10 principles. According to this metric, the lowest value is assigned to these principles since each synthesis involves chemicals with acute hazard to human health, and in none of these methods, all substances are degradable or break down to harmless products. Finally, the green start for the synthesis proposed in this work presents a higher green area with a score of 55, indicating that it is a more environmentally friendly process, reaching a higher total score by generating innocuous waste and using only water as solvent. Conclusions. Silica nanoparticles were successfully synthesized using an environmentally friendly solvent method employing sodium metasilicate with short reaction times at room temperatures. Silica nanoparticles were characterized by different techniques such as Fourier transformer infrared, X-ray diffraction, and transmission electron microscopy, and others. And finally, the objective of developing a more eco-friendly synthesis procedure with, with respect to the principles of green chemistry was achieved.